guys how are you doing i hope everything is going perfectly with you so today's video will be about uh the mbde part one i've already uploaded a video talking about part two exam and this one will be about part one in details mbde part one now uh before we start off i just want to mention that part one are, and part two are completely different exams they require different effort they require different amount of time in order to prepare for them and they have different materials to study you will need a lot more effort than you have for part two just because part one actually are information that are uh you have read during your first three years as a dent as a dentist in a dental school therefore most of these information are not used every day and most of these information are forgotten so probably you will have as a, as a student a hard time remembering them however if you're freshly graduated this would be a good opportunity for you since most of the information are still kind of there somewhere now uh, to make this video for uh, short for you I'm gonna start off first of all you would have to read Daniel deck now Daniel deck are actually really beneficial for part one exam they have a question on the front page and then they will have explanation on the back page they're really good but the problem with them is that they lack a general idea they do not have a background information and there would be no connection between the information that you're studying for example let's say you're studying bacteriology and on one card it will start talking about streptococcus and then on the other card on the next card specifically it will start talking about let's say Escherichia coli or mycobacterium it will not give you connection it will not tell you what are the type of gram positive bacteria or gram negative bacteria what are the aerobic type the anaerobic type now you need this information in order to build a knowledge for yourself so that you that you could pass the exam so in order to do that to do that you will have to read a book along with those uh, cards a book is really good with Daniel deck now you could choose whatever book you decide to study but in my opinion i recommend first aid i think first aid is really easy to understand and it had a simple language just like most before part two and it was enough for part one it also had so many schedules so many categorization that are really really important for part uh, one exam now uh, the only thing with part uh, with the first aid uh, is that the first section or the first chapter will be talking about anatomy I actually skipped that chapter just because I felt it was more complicated uh, and there is something about anatomy no matter how you study for anatomy there will always be something missing so you cannot cover everything and you cannot study everything. I felt that if I study first aid, I, first of all, I didn't have time. And I thought that if I study first aid, anatomy in first aid, I will waste a lot of time. And there will still be questions that will not come from this book nor from these cards. Therefore, I just, I didn't want to waste my time. So I didn't study anatomy. However, what, uh, what you need to do for anatomy is that you need to study the cards really carefully like every sentence in those cards every point is really important especially regarding anatomy and the second thing that you need to do there are some pictures in first aid regarding anatomy that i thought that might be interesting they also have some schedules some categorization that might be good you could choose whatever that you want to study um during your studying of the cards you could watch the pictures just so that they could stick in your brain also, you should look for an online video on YouTube or anything else. I remember when I studied anatomy, I used to see the nerves pathway on a YouTube videos. So it just gave me a better imagination of everything because in anatomy, you really have to imagine everything in order to answer the questions on the exam. Because if you only memorize the information, you would tend to forget them and it will be more difficult for you so uh in order to make everything easy you really have even though it will take time from you but you really have to watch videos and watch pictures like so many pictures regarding what you're studying in anatomy because it would be a waste of time if you're only memorizing information that you will not remember them in the exam i really recommend that you focus on anatomy uh like in pictures and in videos in a better way 
um, as for the other sections or the other chapters you will have to take a general idea from them you do not have to read the book in details but let's say let's go back to our example of bacteriology if you're studying bacteriology you could easily see the categorization they have for bacteria the gram positive type what are the bacteria doing in our body you would know all the information all the general information so that when you read the cards in details you would be able to understand them in an easier way in the exam now the second thing that you need to study for this particular exam is the american student dental association question and answer release this is actually a book for part two but i had the same one for part one uh, there are question and answers that are released from uh, previous exams from previous years, mostly 70s, 80s. They are really good and you also need to repeat them like so many times in order to make sure you remember them in the exam because a lot of question will be repeated in the exam and um, like I think more than 20% will be repeated in the exam. So you need to focus on them pretty carefully and you need to study them and repeat them more than once or twice or three times. It just depends on your study and on your time. Uh, as I mentioned for part two, you do not have to study all of the questions but I prefer that you do for part one because there are just like I've mentioned there are some questions that would be repeated in the exam so it would be beautiful to remember them from this book or from any other book the final thing that you need to study for part one is the crackly mbde which is an online exam it just gonna give you the you will be able to um know how to use computer during the exam you will be able to see the questions how do they come uh the questions won't be related to the ones that will come in the exam you don't have to focus on them but you will just gonna feel that you're taking the exam so that when you go and take the exam it will be just easier for you to do that so uh in my opinion i believe that part two just requires a lot of time and requires a lot of uh studying in order to pass it you just have to repeat everything you studied for you do not have to study a variety of books you do not have to study like a different materials because they will all give you the same information in different languages for example if you decide to study another book it will exactly like tell you the same exact information about let's say external character art to you but in a different language this might be confusing for you so i really recommend you focus on one book you focus on dental deck on the questions and answers that are released and that's it you could skip everything else but you have to focus on those and you have to repeat those so many times in order to remember them like really well in the exam um that's it if you have any questions please leave them below and i will try to answer them all thank you so much for watching and good luck with your with your exam